This video will cover another type of word problem that is fairly easy to do if you can do some basic translating from words to equations. Five more than twice a number is the same as three less than the number. What is the number? Since we are looking for a particular number, let x stand for that number. The next thing is a matter of just translating this pretty much in order from left to right, keeping in mind that is, or is the same as, is going to equate to your equal sign. That says everything that's in front of the is is going to be on one side of the equal sign, and what's behind the is will be on the other side of the equal sign. So all we have to do right now is translate that phrase, five more than twice a number. Five more than we know is plus, twice means two times, so that's 2x. So that's all there is to it on the left side. The right, says, right side says it's the same as 3 less than the number. Be careful, it is not 3 minus x. To make something 3 less than it already is, we start with the number, which is x, and take away 3 from that. Now we're ready to solve. That's just a basic equation. Get your x's on one side and your numbers on the other. If you subtract x from both sides, you will end up with 5 plus x equals negative 3 because those cancel. All we have to do now is subtract 5 from both sides, and we have x equals negative 8. Because these are both negative, keep the negative sign and add. Let's take a look at another one. 3 times a number increased by 7 is the same as the sum of the number and 13. Find the number, so let x be the number, and let's translate this. Here's our is, which is going to break it into two parts. 3 times a number increased by 7, that's all we have to translate in front of this equal sign. 3 times the number is just 3x, increased by is logically a plus 7. And it's the same as this side, the sum of a number and 13. Now I've been preaching that the word sum requires parentheses, so I'm going to use the parentheses here and put a plus. It's the sum of a number, which is x, and 13. Now take a look at this. Were those parentheses really necessary in this case? No, but I'm just being consistent with the idea that sum should have parentheses. So take away the parentheses, and this is what your equation really looks like. This is get your x's on one side and numbers to the other. So subtract x from both sides. Gives us 2x plus 7 equals 13. Subtract that 7 from both sides, and you have 2x equals 6. Finish out by dividing by 2, and you get x equals 3. All right, let's translate this one. Twice the difference of a number and 6 is the same as 4 times a number increased by 4. Sounds a little more complicated, but let's start out like we did before. Let x equal the number. Keep in mind the is is going to separate this into two parts. So all we're looking at is this first part. Twice the difference of a number and 6. Twice means two times. And when we see the word difference, we know that requires parentheses. Put a minus in between because difference means subtract. The order inside here needs to be x minus 6 because the word number came before you saw the word 6. Is, that was our equal sign, go to the other side. 4 times the number increased by 4. 4 times the number is 4x, increased by is plus 4. One comment before we go on. Unlike the one a minute ago where the parentheses were not required, these parentheses are, because this is 2 times the quantity x minus 6. That makes a difference. The last problem we had an x plus 5 inside the parentheses, and there was nothing in front, and that's why the parentheses were not necessary on the last one, but they are necessary on this one. And that's why I generally say when you see the word sum or the word difference, put them in parentheses. Once you have put them in parentheses, you can decide if you need to keep them or not. We're keeping them here on this problem previous. We did not keep them. Tribute here. And we get 2x minus 12 equals 4x plus 4. Now we're ready to get our x's to one side and numbers to the other. Let's subtract 2x from both sides, which gives us negative 12 equals 2x plus 4 because those canceled out. Over here now, let's get the x alone by subtracting 4 from both sides. Those cancel out. And we have 2x equals negative 16. Because these are both negative, keep the negative and add. Finish out by dividing by 2, and we get x equals negative 8. Now, let's do a check. We haven't done a check on any of the other ones, so I've already written out this check here. We think x equals negative 8, so let's plug it back in and see what happens. Inside the parentheses here, we'll need to do negative 8 minus 6. That's like a plus a negative. Is a negative 14. 2 times negative 14 is negative 28. On this side, order of operations tells me to do the multiplying first. So 4 times negative 8 is negative 32. 
negative 32 plus 4, those are different signs. Keep the sign of the larger, which is, subtract, which is a negative, and subtract gives us negative 28. Those are the same, and it does check. Let's look at another type that goes back to a geometry kind of type, but this one's pretty easy format. This says a 36-inch piece of wood is to be cut into two pieces, but not right smack in the middle, so that the longer piece is two times the shorter. Find the length of each piece. This is similar to the geometry perimeter problems where you had a length and a width. In this case, you have a shorter piece and a longer piece. You need to identify those, and you need to name your variables correctly you have to decide which one of these is your plain old variable. Well, it says the longer piece is two times the shorter. You were told nothing about the shorter piece. So the shorter piece has got to be your x. The longer piece is two times the shorter, which is 2x. Once you have named those, put those on the picture. Here's my shorter piece of x, my longer piece of 2x. We know one more piece of information. We know that the whole piece of wood is 36 inches. So that's shown here. That helps me get my equation. If the two pieces go together to make 36, that's my equation. x plus 2x equals 36. Pretty simple to solve. Combine your like terms is 3x equals 36. Divide your 3, and x equals 12 inches. That's x right here. It asks you to find the length of each piece. So you need to put 12 next to x here. Put 12 in for this x. 2 times 12 is 24. Very simple check. Add these together. 12 plus 24 is 36, and that's the length of pipe or wire that we have. A 50 foot piece of wire is to be cut so that the longer piece is four times the shorter. So here's our words of longer and shorter. Here's our picture. We have a shorter piece, we have a longer piece. Well, the longer is four times the shorter, so the shorter has to be your x again. The longer is four times that, so the longer is 4x. On the picture, x, 4x for the longer. We know altogether it's 50 feet. That's going to give us our equation. This piece, which is x, plus this piece, which is 4x, gives me 50. Add those together is 5x. Divide out a 5, and you get x equals 10 feet. So x is 10. You're going to have to put 10 in for that x, and it gives us 10 feet for the short, 40 feet for the long. Add these together. gives us 50 feet, and it checks.